Hi and welcome. This is Muhammad Kubeb. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a new feature which Microsoft has recently announced, which is Azure VM Regional to Zonal Movement or Zonal Migration. If you want to learn more about Citrix, Azure or AWS technologies, you can check out my bestseller Udemy courses. This is also available in Udemy for Business. Let's see how this feature is helpful for the customer. So in order to understand uh, this feature, first we need to get into the concept of what is region and what is availability zones or zonal concept. So this feature is uh, so this feature allows you to move existing VMs in a regional configuration, which means deployed without any infrastructure redundancy to a zonal configuration deployed into specific availability zones within the same region. So in order to understand this concept, first you need to understand what is Microsoft Azure region and what is Microsoft Azure availability zones or zonal concept. So Microsoft Azure region is nothing but a place where Microsoft represents its data center. For example, let's imagine you have Microsoft data center available in UAE. So here in UAE, we have two regions. One is UAE central and another one is UAE north. Similarly, if you think about India, so we have multiple uh, regions such as uh, Central India, South India or West India. So accordingly, you can select your region which is near to you. So when I say region, it represents a data center. So it may have a single data center or multiple data centers. So if you deploy your workloads in a single data center, then often we refer it as a regional deployment. It means you are going to select a single data center. So that may not have any uh, redundancy, etc. So if that particular data center goes down, then you don't have any services up and running from that data center and you'll have a full outage. And then we have something called multiple data center, that concept called as zonal deployment or availability zones. So it means that within a region, you will have multiple data center as mentioned over here. So in a typical Microsoft Azure infrastructure, uh, when we say multiple data center, typically we will have three data centers, uh, which uh, may be separated uh, with some distance, maybe 100 kilometers, etc. So that it will be independent of each other. If there is any data center uh, outage occurs in particular DC, uh, it does not have any impact on other two data centers. For example, let's imagine you deploy your virtual machine over here and then you deployed one more virtual machine here and the third one over here. For example, this data center goes down, then still you will have another two data centers to support your services. So you don't have any downtimes because of this. However, here, let's say if you deploy one virtual machines over here and if this particular data center is having an issue, then you will have a total outage. So if you want to learn more about Azure uh, availability zones or availability sets, etc., with respect to the SLAs and other features, you can check out my YouTube video. I'll put the link in the description. Let's see why this feature is important to the customer. So in order to understand, I will explain one scenario. So Microsoft has announced Microsoft Azure region in UAE back in 2019. So when they announced the region in 2019, at that moment, so there was no concept of availability zones. It means that Microsoft Azure data center in UAE, which is having only single data center. So which we call it as a regional deployment. So if you wanted to deploy any workloads or any VMs, etc., uh, in Microsoft Azure UAE region, so it will be deployed it in a single data center. So if there is a failure in that particular uh, data center, then you will have an outage. So after two years, which is around 2021, Microsoft has introduced availability zones in UAE region. So it means that within a region, which is in UAE North. So we will have a three data center as mentioned here. So now customer can deploy their workloads across this uh, availability zones. It means that they can deploy their workload uh, to three different data centers. So even though if there is any outage in particular data center, there is no impact. Still, the services will be available across other data centers. So now what will happen if I'm already having the virtual machines over here during 2019, which I deployed. However, in 2021, Microsoft has announced the availability zones. Now I need to move my VMs, which is 
under a regional deployment to a zonal deployment for example let's imagine you have three vms which is deployed under regional deployment so now you need to move to the zonal deployment it means that let's say the vm1 which you wanted to move to zone 1 the vm2 which you wanted to move to zone 2 and the third vm which you wanted to move to zone 3 so now what will happen after the movement you will have the vms across all three data centers for example if this data center goes down still you will have two more data uh, vms in another two data centers similarly if this goes down you will still have the one more vms which is available in uh, one of the data centers however let's imagine if you have three vms under the regional deployment and this data center is having some issues so irrespective of any number of vms uh, you have it in that particular data center you will have a complete outage because you will have a single data center when you choose a regional deployment so one important note you have to make whenever microsoft introduce a new azure region so initially there won't be any availability zones so later after maybe months or years they will introduce uh, azure availability zones in that particular region so when you want to move from the regional to zonal then you need this tool or this feature so which we are going to do a demonstration today so let's see the demo i'm in the azure portal over here i have two virtual machines so dc and demo zone so i'm going to take this particular demo zone virtual machine and i'm going to do the zone migration so if i go into the overview so and then uh, if you go into the availability so under availability and scaling as you can see under availability zone it is not mentioned anything over here with respect to zones either zone 1 zone 2 or zone 3 it means that currently this virtual machine is under regional deployment so now we need to move from regional to zonal so to do that uh, under this particular option we need to select availability and scaling so once you are here then you need to select get started so this will uh, provide some of the options so as per your requirement you can change it for example the first one is name uh, the source uh, vm name is demo zone so the destination vm name by default it will take the same name if you wanted to change you can change it for example you can put one so that you will identify that what is the actual vm and what is the migrated vm so however if you wanted to keep the same name you can do that as well so in this demo i'm not going to change anything so if you wanted to further modify you can select configure so here in this option uh, you will have multiple uh, settings for example virtual machine name you can rename which i already mentioned and then target resource group for example uh, if you wanted to uh, place this virtual machine in any of the uh, resource group you can change it so by default it will create a new resource group so if you wanted if you don't want to create a new resource group then you can select the existing one and uh, then you can choose accordingly as per your requirement and then availability zone so let's say if you wanted to place this virtual machine in either zone 1 or zone 2 or zone 3 so you can change it over here so one very important thing before you place your vms in a availability zone for example 1 or 2 or 3 first you need to check whether the particular vm size is available on that particular zone or not so if that particular SKU is not available then you, you have to choose either the other uh, SKUs or you cannot move it so that is very important so we need to check the size availability in that particular zones so in zone 2 i have the availability uh, of particular SKU which is due to sv3 or if i want to change it to some other SKU, that is also possible so there are many available uh, sizes in zone 2 i can choose accordingly similarly let's say i wanted to choose zone 1 so here also in the zone 1 we can see there are many vm SKUs available so as per your requirement you can choose which size you want uh, for that particular vm post migration so in most of the cases we are going to keep the same uh, SKU. so in this example also i am going to keep the same SKU which is due to SV3 so I'll click on save changes here and then under NIC so by default it will create a new NIC so which is by design you cannot change it however some of the parameter you can change it over here so for example let's say accelerated network where you, you want accelerated networking or not you can turn off it if you don't want 
and similarly other options over here with respect to subnets etc so i'm not going to change anything here so similarly uh, the third option is related to vnet if you wanted to change anything with respect to vnet you can do it so if i go to configure so by default it will take the same source vnet so if you wanted to do any changes over here you can do it so otherwise if you don't want to modify anything and you want everything as similar to your source vm then do not change anything keep as it is and we can cancel this option and then we can hit on validate so the validation is uh, completed successfully so now we need to agree on this and we can select move option so now what it will do basically so it will create a snapshot of the vm disk and from that snapshot it will create a, a new disk in that particular zone which is zone 2 so once uh, the disk is created in zone uh, 2 then it will create a, a vm and uh, attach that particular uh, zone to disk to that particular vm which is in zone 2 so this is how it will move the virtual machine from the regional deployment to zonal deployment so one important thing you have to uh, make a note here post migration or post movement you will have the virtual machine in the source region so it is not going to delete automatically it is your option whether you wanted to delete the vms from the source region or no so this is the one task you have to do uh, post migration so the migration is completed as you can see here it is saying that virtual machines moved completely so here you can see target which is showing as successful the source vm which is in a stop, stop state so it means that post migration it will automatically turn off the vm uh, which is in the regional deployment stage so if i click on done and if you go to our virtual machines so for example i'll go to the blade virtual machine blade and here we have two vms with the same name demo zone and another one is also with the demo zone so you can see the resource group which is different this is our zonal one and this is our regional one so regional one is in a stopped state however the zonal one which is uh, in a running state so if you wanted to confirm whether it is really moved to zone 2 or no so let's go inside this virtual machine and then we'll go to the availability and scaling option under properties so as you can see here now this is moved to zone 2 so in order to summarize uh, what we have done so let's go to our whiteboard so as you can see we had our virtual machine over here initially the demo uh, zone and then we used that option uh, for the migration and moved this virtual machine to zone 2 so now we have a same virtual machine in both the place one in zone 2 as well as another one is in the uh, regional uh, data center so once you verify everything here in the zone 2 then you can either decommission or delete this virtual machines and you can use this virtual machine which is in zone 2 uh, going forward so this is how we are going to do the zonal migration uh, for the existing virtual machine which is deployed in the regional data center